Does your 3U tools always have an issue when you're trying to download a new update? Hi, I'm Jesse from VCC Board Repairs, and in today's video, I'm walking you through the workaround I use to get 3U tools working again. So make sure you stick around for the whole video. Currently here on the screen, you can see I have a 15.2 iOS uh, firmware version. This is an iPhone 7 that I have plugged in. And you can see I've clicked download and it's stuck at 0%. If you go here, you'll see it is stuck at connecting, also says 0%. So first, let me show you my settings. If you go up here, go to settings. So here on the left is the download. I've set the maximum download to two, limit download rate zero, and this is the folder I have everything at. Uh, let's see, anything else? So here's my settings. I don't know if any of this is gonna make a difference for you, but this is what I have for myself. Okay, so then, so what I do is I go to downloads. So when it's stuck here, I go to downloads and I click X, click delete, and it'll get stuck like this. So once it's in this state, I go to here, close it, close three tools, then I go to reopen it, all right? So if I re reopened it, then you'll still see here it says pause. So go back to downloads, click X, click delete, close this, and then click download again. And there you go, look at that. It's, it's now downloading, you can see it will increase to 1% in a second. There you go. So now it's working. So if the previous fix did not work for you, here's another way that's a lot more reliable, although a little less convenient. So you can manually import the firmware files into 3U tools. So, so let me walk you through that process. It's pretty simple. Go to 3U.com and then go to firmwares. And then here you need to find the firmware file for your specific device. So in my case here, I actually have a 10S Max connected. So you will need this uh, information to do this part. because you do want to make sure you get the right file. So here it's like iPhone, go to 10S Max, which is right here. And then scroll down and then here's two product types. So go back to 3U tools. Here on product type, you see 11 comma six. So select that. And then the next one is device model. So go back to 3U tools and that's the one in the parentheses, A1921. So you wanna do this for whatever device model you're working on, whether it's like an iPhone 7, iPhone 13, you know, you need to make sure you get the right firmware file. Then it selects what firmware versions and etc. And then here are the files. So these are the three two files that you can manually download. And here in the green dots are the ones that are able to be flashed right now. Because not all of them are able to be flashed. Although there are older versions, they're not signed and they won't work. So for example, they just click uh, 15.2. You click download. And then you wait for the pop-up to tell you where you want to save the file. It does take a few seconds, so just wait for it. Now here it is. So select a folder you want to save these files. I already have the 3U tools uh, folder I use for the normal download, so I just save it there. And this file already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna go through that. So in this case, uh, I had mentioned I was doing 15.2, and you'll see there's a button called import. So you click on that, and then you find the file that you just downloaded. Uh, you could always sort it by date. So then you have the latest one on the top, double click on it. And then this will actually scan the file to make sure this is the right 15.2 file for this model. If it's not, then it will error out. So you don't have to worry about accidentally clicking the wrong one. It won't work if you import the wrong file. So right now you'll see there it goes, imported. And now I'm able to use it and restore device. So that is another way to manually do it. So hopefully either of these options work for you. If not, let me know down below in the comments. So there you have it. The process is pretty simple. And if you're still having issues, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you check out the links down below in the description and I'll see you in the next one.